There's Asim Rahman, and he said this means everything to him. He wants Vitaly Klitschko, a win tonight, does that for him. Same for Monty Barrett. And Rachman has been to the mountaintop. This man has not, but he wants to get there. All right, let's meet him with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the United Center here in Chicago, Illinois, as we present the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Don King Productions in association with the United Center. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Gabriel Peña Carricano, along with the Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation, the Secretary Fernando E. Grillo, Chief of Boxing Ron Puccillo, the Executive Manager Joel Campuzano. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside from Chicago, Illinois, Mauro Di Fiore, also from Chicago, Bill Lurch, and from Tokyo, Japan, Nobuaki Uratani. And our referee in charge, he is working in this, his 117th world title bout, Jay Nady. All right, fans, here we go with our featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the interim WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Chicago, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with gray trim, hailing from and joining us from Queens, New York. He weighed in at 224 pounds with a record of 31 wins, three losses. He has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBC Continental America's heavyweight champion, currently ranked the WBC number two heavyweight contender, introducing Monty Two Guns Barrett. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner in this 12-round interim heavyweight world championship, wearing black trunks with red trim, fighting out of Baltimore, Maryland. He weighed in at a ready 236 pounds. His record stands at 40 wins, five losses, and one draw, with 33 big wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked at WBC number one heavyweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former WBC, IBF, and IBO heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Haseem the Rock Rockman. Once again, a referee in charge, Jay Nady, now to give instructions. You guys have any questions? 12 rounds. Obey my commands. Defend yourself at all times. I'm glad I can see your tummies. Test gloves now. Let's go to work. Good luck. So what's left then is to get it on and decide who will fight Vitaly Klitschko and take a giant step forward at the heavyweight division. This is a critical moment in the careers of both of these men. Right now, they have to rise to the occasion and put on a show that will propel them into that mega fight. I, I have never seen Rockman in this kind of condition. His last fight against Callie Meehan, he weighed even less than this at 232. He gave a sensational performance that night, but he's in with a better fighter here tonight than he was on that night. Friendships now put aside. And here we go, round one. Both these guys look in extremely good shape. We've been Both. talking about Rockman, but Barrett also. Barrett's body looks excellent. There's just too much at stake not to be. Rockman's got to remember the best knockouts he's had, they came to him. He didn't have to go out searching for them. 
was able to just deliver the shots. Don't go searching for them and burn yourself out because Barrett has got a good left jab. And Barrett is the more classical boxer of the two. Rockman is, uh, the, he'll be the aggressor here tonight. Rockman just kind of stalking Barrett right now. He said he's been working on his jab more. Hasn't shown it yet. Now he sticks it out. A focused Hussein Rockman and in shape Hussein Rockman is a tough nut to crack and a tough man to beat. Once again, Rockman let the fight come to him. Jab, sort of stay in position so you can get that right hand that you got Lennox Lewis with years ago. Reaching out and missing. Not a good thing to do. Rock, there you saw the first uh, evidence of Rockman's jab. I feel it might be the best jab in the whole heavyweight division. He's got very long arms. Uh, yeah, he's misleading because his height doesn't look about the same height, but he's got extra reach for the height here. Exactly right, George. He's got really long arms, which is why so many people feel that he'd be very difficult for Klitschko because he'd be one of the few guys who could actually jab with Klitschko and perhaps back Klitschko up with a jab. Barrett's got to don't be lazy now. Just try to get the left jab in and hit Rockman. Make him respect you with a good right hand. These guys, we've talked about it. Uh, outside the ring, very good now friends. Box. Rich Thank mentioned you. earlier, they spent last 4th of July together. Not this past one, but last year. You're holding, you're holding. Let go. Hardest thing Stop. in the world is to knock a man Thank out. You. Stop and holding. the man knows you're trying to knock him out. You got to go out there and box him and box him and make him think, well, I'll beat you on points and then sneak a knockout in. Go grab. Amante Barrett, Rich, you and I did a lot of his early fights early in his career. And uh, you're holding. He was, I'll put it, he was okay, but, but we didn't really think that he was going to get to this point. And he has made himself into what he is now. And he did it by getting through a very hard time for himself when when he suffered a couple of consecutive losses and he was knocked out by Vladimir Klitschko and he didn't fight for 18 months and uneventful first round comes to an end crowd lets him hear about it. But Monty Barrett did get himself together okay. after that. We got initiated with him. How you feel? Okay. And has come back very nicely, especially in the last year. Keep your hands a little closer to you. Shadow Knight right in his there, corner, very experienced what trainer. To do, used to work with Lennox Lewis. Be a little bit more sure of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Be a little bit more sure of yourself. Shadow just said he saw right something in Monte Barrett that he liked. Touch, and he called him touch, up, said, touch, I think I can help you. Touch, Barrett said, come on. Right hand, like an offset, okay? Like an offset, all right, baby? Keep sliding over, keep squaring the rain behind your fang, okay? Mm -hmm. Every time you get that jab and jab it in, jab to the body, jab to the body. Don't let him give me the one. Okay, good. Okay. Fel Torrance right. is the head trainer, okay. protege of Eddie Fudge. Come on. With Ron Griffin. Just keep coming off, get that pressure on. Take it down. Take it down. Okay. Fel Torrance only with Rockman for the second time. He calls him coach. And, and Fel Torrance, of course, worked for all those years with Eddie Fudge. Coach, I think, is well put. When you get into a corner with a big heavy like, like Rockman, who has a big punch, you got to explain to him, win every round. Get those rounds in the bank. Knockout, secondary. George, they were telling, Shadow Knight was telling Monty in the corner to look more sure of yourself out there. Be more sure of yourself out there. Right you know, I think that's a very good point. Is it tentative? It's awful tentative, as a matter of fact. Box. Throws his jab, and he's more interested in getting out of the way right now. Good right hand from Barrett. It hurt Rockman. Yes, too. it did. Stop. You're holding now Rockman understands understand. this is not my friend after all. <laughs> Come on. You, you're going on. at tentative thinking this is your friend. This guy tells you, hey, no, I'm not. That was the first time. There's the jab from Rockman, but that was the first time that Barrett unleashed a right hand with bad intentions, and yeah. Rockman walked into it. Make him respect you. 
Now, Rock was susceptible to the right hand in his second fight with Lennox Lewis. Also in his fight with John Ruiz, which he lost. There's that great jab from Rock Bond. Oh, yeah, it is. Rock Bond, we talk about heavy-handed fighters, and certainly no one was more so than our partner George Foreman here, but Rock Bond clearly is that. But when you shake hands with him, you get an idea. <laughs> it I mean, just disappears. Absolutely. <laughs> Good jab whenever he steps forward with that jab. It's a good, crisp, hard jab. Because he doesn't use it just as a range finder to set other stuff up. Oh, I mean, he, hurt you, Richard. Exactly. He yeah. uses it as an offensive weapon. Yeah. He said, my jab is a power punch. Barrett's still not doing much. Be giving away a couple of rounds here. And if you're Rockman, that's what you want. Take as many rounds, put them in the bank as you can. Don't grab it. Boy, that is a good jab. I like to see heavyweights jab to the chest. Put the guy in the chest. That's where you take all the power out of the big guys. Hit him around the side. Just put your jab. Right in the chest. It's the only place you can't build up. Miss him in the head, bring it down a little. Go to the chest. Not many fighters jab with the body though, too. Oh. Well, you look at the right top of the chest. Well, the crowd here getting a little antsy early in this fight. did get one good solid right hand in but quite honestly I don't think that was enough to win the round yeah here it is it's that right hand and Rockman as you see walked into it and definitely wobbled you could definitely see it there he he nearly toppled from that punch it was a beautiful way there's the wobble from uh, rock but he recovered quickly from it and then Barrett never really followed up on it the only that's the only real power punch that Monte has thrown in the fight <laughs> but you know what, what I what I thought he did too George and you could elaborate on this he didn't take that backward step when he got rocked he stepped forward and as a result I don't think Barrett knew he heard him he actually thought hey maybe I just made him stumble a little bit not a hard shot confused him exactly that's a veteran that's a veteran move though <laughs> I think it was a necessary move. <laughs> well, yes Once again, Rockman is aggressive. You don't want to get too careless. Barrett's got to make him respect him. Keep him off again with a right hand. George Rockman has very thick legs and a very thick backside. Do you think that that helps him actually absorb a punch better? See, all of the guys with the thicker legs down there take shots good. Muhammad Ali had thick uh, ankles, calves. Hard to get him rocked. Wasn't so big upstairs with them. Downstairs, the ankle. Rockman looks like he's closing the gap between he and Monty Barrett. Hasn't thrown a lot of right hands. Monty looks like he wants to lull Rockman to sleep a little bit. That's what he's trying to do, and Rockman is picking up on it. I think Rockman's getting himself more in punching range. But that jab, he's always in punching range. Well, man. that's true. <laughs> For that thing. But Barrett has shown, that, hey, I've got a right hand here. You better not just yep. disrespect me. Get some of that juice that you're holding for the lateral round. Get it out of you. Stop! Stop, stop now, stop. Now box. 
talking about Monty isn't throwing that right a little more. It's a dangerous punch because you can get caught as well. He's got to get a little distance so he can make sure he can take advantage of his long arms. Barrett working the jab. Switch and hitting. Yep. Southpaw. Can Barrett win the fight like this, George, with his jab and then the movement? If he just gets confident in it, jab, throw more punches, jab, throw more punches, hold when it's necessary. You can find yourself a hit on points. Hard right hand of the body by Rockman. I think the style of the fight, Barry, is, is uh, established here. It's just going to be who can execute. I mean, they're each doing, apparently, their game plan. Right? Game That's plan. right. Which may make it a fight of adjustments. I thought that was a very close fight, close round. one more good right in this round there you see it coming from the outside a kind of more of a looping right this time Barrett was then chased down by Rockman who tried using that jab to catch up to him long distance it can snake out there a long way rock got those long arms round four schedule 12 rounder the winner gets a shot at Vitana Klitschko Del Torrance was telling Hasim Rahman between rounds to do exactly what George Foreman was uh, talking about, jab to the body. Rahman did come out and get one excellent left jab to the body, honestly. There it is. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this shot of the fight from Rahman. Barrett says, I'm all right. Didn't land clean, but... But it landed it was scary. <laughs> you know what? When you do something like that and your trainer sets you out to do it, you get more confidence in your corner. And jab, 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 get his hand down and come up with that right hand. Those jabs to the body would set up that right hand. Stop! That's me. Thanks. Barrett's been in with some heavy hitters in his career. Chris Coach. He just wasn't ready at that stage of his career to take on a Vladimir Klitschko. I mean, he, he knows he's not intimidated by power alone. You have to have a plan up your sleeve. <laughs> Add that left hook to the chest. Here, stop, stop. I, I like it. Thank I you. like it. He was talking about it. He said, my left hook's as good as my right hand. And everybody talks about his right hand. I think the difference in power here is showing up in this round between the two guys. Lots of punches are just... Looking way more heavy handed. Stop! No, 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 no. I didn't mean to. Well, yeah, yeah. well sort of. Okay. Rockman continues to force the pace of the fight. I, mean, I think that's very important to keep those rounds in the bank, too. Stay ahead. Keep progressing. Keep throwing shots. You might not hit them on land all. Keep throwing punches. Box. Barrett is sneaky, though. He's got that little right hand thinking, now I'll catch him asleep. No, 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 no. Stop. No, 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 no. Thank you. Ready? No box. Jay Nate is big enough to stand in there and make the move, though. Yeah, he is. It's a big referee. Over 100 championship fights, refereed by Jay Nate. <laughs> left hand of the body gets Barrett backing out of there. And a good left hand again. It's, Stop! It, it is. It's Stop. half jab, half not quite hook, but Come certainly on. a power punch. Barrett is going to have to, at some point, unleash some offense. And I have Barrett. Left eye. Yep. Yep. I thought that was Rockbot's best round. You win. You win, Jimmy. Okay. 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 Ok
baby. Then not. This boy is tired right here, Mark Day. No. This boy is tired right here. I'm happy they signed the bail for John Johnson. First time in my life I've been to Chicago. He was, he was not alive. Built celebrity for a lot of us fighters. I leave Floyd Patterson. What you do, George Foreman. <laughs> and he's gone now. He's going to be missed for Chicago like Mayor Daly. A short or two. Under a minute in jet. I want, to, I want you to stay on balance, though. Okay? This ain't nothing for us. Round was uh, very strong due to the aggressiveness of Hasim Rahman. Jab to the body, jab to the body. Ooh. There's that head, that right to the head, which landed cleaner than I thought. Uh, Barry, you're right. That landed cleaner than I thought it did. And for the rest of the round, Barrett looked a little uncomfortable in there. I, I think your there. point is well taken also, that Barrett's just going to have to do something. I spilled some ice in the corner of uh, Hasim Rahman. That's the reason for this delay. I want a full three-minute round. Barrett is a little lazy. He needs someone in his corner to make him Bring get up off the stool and fight. You're just as big as this man. What is wrong with you? Just inside of Barrett's jab. Barrett is getting a little more confident with his jab. It's a good jab. It's, it's a quick jab. It's not as strong as Rock's, but it's left hook's quick. to the chest again. Go back to the body. Head is out of range. Stick on his chest. Stop! You see those little shots? They slap one another in the body and on the shoulder. It looks like nothing, but let me tell you, it takes his toll. 200 pounds to hit him on the shoulder. Back from your back taps. The great fighters will always tie you up so that you don't touch them at all. Stop all action. Well, now we're seeing rights from Barrett, but they're right jabs. He turned southpaw. Yeah, and, Rock, <laughs> and Rockman's picking all of them. I think Monty's thinking, Stop. well, what I'm doing so far isn't necessarily working. Let me try something else. Just missed with that chopping right hand. Got a good right hand off himself, Barrett. Rockman keeps his hands up high. Where did I'm here. Now box. Now Barrett missed with that right, but that's a little, that's more the idea, I think. You know, throw the jab and follow it up. Oh, oh right hand oh. that was. Oh, that hurt, that hurt Barrett. He tried to hold on and rock this one well. He's still in trouble. Well, be careful trying to finish him because he's, he knows how to exist. Survival so fighters will hurt you Don't trying to finish them off. Stop! You can't grab like that. See how strong Jay Navy is? You're grabbing. Stop! Okay, I'm gonna give you a warning. I mean it. Do you think big referees, George, should work heavyweight fights? But if they're strong, like there's some guys big who are not as strong as Jay Navy. I just saw his strength there. But uh, there are some referees who can command you, make you step back with their voices. Because Mills Lane, he was not a big man. But he, when he spoke, you, you look serious. No. If, if Mills was watching tonight, I was, we salute him. It's, we miss you, Mills. Pick it up, okay? One of the greats, you one of the original I articles. Don't worry about that. I got you. Monte, mm -hmm. you have to pick pick, pick those more combinations. Oh. There we go. You hear what I'm saying? Monte Barrett's starting to get busted up a little bit here. Yeah, and I think the jab is taking its effect. Look at that strong, powerful jab of Hussein Rahman. It's one of the great weapons in heavyweight fighting today. And then again, the right hand, which came on the side of the head, but you can see it really had an effect on Barrett. He grabbed immediately. 
tried to put his arms around Rock, who managed to elude that. Barrett is feeling Rockman's power. And Rockman defensively, I think, has been very good in this fight. And admittedly, Monte Barrett has not done a lot, but. He's chasing Barrett and Rockman is, but he's keeping his hands up pretty good. One problem for Barrett that he's finding as he continues in the southpaw stance, nice switches back orthodox, is that his jab is usually better than his opponent's jab. You know, his his own quick yeah, jab. Yeah, he's got that reach. Yeah, but ordinarily. But not tonight, you know. Rockman's jab is the better jab. Stop, let him out, let him out. Now box. And that spells trouble for Monty, because man, he makes a living on that jab. Missed with the right hand. That left eye is starting to swell. Not that Barrett isn't landing a fair number of jabs himself, and probably more than Rockman, but without the same kind of power. Rockman has to start to look sluggish, sloppy, alert, good don't level hold to him, the don't hold him. Stop! Don't push him back. Good body, body shot, shot, yeah. Double right hand from Rockman. Return, however. Rockman was actually really excited about his gym work uh, that he uh, that he put in now for box. this fight. He said, "Everything I hit, it bleeds." <laughs> and he says, "You get out of it what you put into it." That's what he's thinking going into this fight. So far, he has. I like his hands up in position. Gets close, doesn't drop him, get too sloppy. I told Rock, I'd love to see him in someday with James Tony in a fight. Just because, of, just because, all right, you got two Stop. great heavyweights, but Lego, Lego because those press conferences would be incomparable. <laughs> those two guys can talk. <laughs> the two of them can talk. And Rock said, yeah, but mine's only PG rated. Yeah, James that's right. gets X rated. <laughs> I see Rock Bond, incidentally, is a very bright guy. So is Monte Bear for that man. Stop. Let him out. Get your head back. Watch your head. You're holding. Don't hold. I will holding. caution you that in the first five right, rounds stop. against Joe Macy, no, no, Monty no, no, Barrett fell way, way Absolutely. behind and wasn't no, he doing much and was knocked down and everything. And suddenly in the second half of the fight, he just, I mean, he came alive. That's why you got to pace yourself. You're rocking. I got plan stop. your work. Work your plan. You Stick to your plan. You Make to certain you're able and to you're do the same it. thing in the 11th round that you're doing this round. Six round. Stop. No, no. Let him out. Stop. Let him out. Keep your head up. Morning, keep your head up. Now box. Barrett is accustomed to being beat up for six rounds, seven rounds. I, just, I think he's just not letting Barrett get on track with that jab. He's just inside where that jab would be. Rockman kind of threw an annoyed glance at Barrett at the end of the round. Yeah. It's yeah. tough for these punchers to chase after guys when they're boxing. They don't like it. No, they don't like it. Okay. Rough day. Come, back more Come on, more fight, more. man. Stop making me okay. miss. I'm getting no, tired. Well, Rockman, I think, building up a pretty healthy lead here. These are these rounds right here that you got to pick it up and throw different shots to combinations. Okay? Okay? We worked you hard for this. This is now or never, right here. You hear what I said? You hear what I said? This is now or never. When he gets closer, you throw them offset shots, and then you start backing him Don't, up. Hey, okay, you with the red hat. Don't encroach on my judge, okay? Give him, give him lots of room. Style of the fight, well established here. Barrett trying to jab. Rockman coming forward. And looking for the big punch. Doesn't always get there, but on occasion it has, and Barrett has felt that power. Round seven. Rockman is doing it. I'm, I'm certain he's not aware of it. He gets ready to throw his right hand, and he's knocking Barrett away from him with the left jab. So sometimes you got to take some of the power off of that left jab just to throw that right hand out. That's interesting. He knocks him away and then throws the right hand.
got to slap him a little bit so his head doesn't move. You're holding. Stop. Now box. Don't hold, Monty. You're just holding, Monty. You're holding, an Monty. For a rock line today. I'm out because they're both holding it. Well, Monty's been told in this corner. He's the round. You've got to pick it up right now. Stop. I'm here. Stop. No, no, don't flash. Okay, now box. Silly. Barrett is letting Rockman walk to him just too much. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have any confidence in the power to take him. But now, whoop, right the right hand. Looping right hand. And they got Rockman off balance coming off those ropes. Rockman didn't have his arms up in a proper defensive posture. Barrett made him pay for it. I right, stop now. Money is just not fighting a confident no, fight, though. Coming off of those ropes, and Barrett right there got him with the right hand when he was a little off balance. He wasn't really even looking up at Barrett. That's Barrett's signature shot to catch you off the ropes, move you out to the side, comes around the side and hits you. But Rockman later in the round, there it is. That was the biggest punch of the fight to this point. And Barrett was in trouble. This one lands flush, George. Now ring pad. I think your points very well taken, Rich. That ring pad might have. <laughs> Cushioned the blow and held him up. He started to, started to mention earlier that one thing is Barrett is doing, he did it right here again, is he's letting Rockbond walk to him and basically walking inside of his jab. What are they doing here? I guess they need more. For one, they're they cleaning up the canvas well. and the Hurry tables on, gentlemen. loose. Cut it. Who's got scissors? Give me scissors. Give me scissors. Monty Barrett needs to slam that jab into Haseem Rockman, slow his progress toward him a little bit, and follow it up with something else. There's got to be something else in Monty's repertoire besides the right, just that quick tape. jab. Yeah, he's got a good, excellent left hook Boys around from on long the right range, tape. but he, he, he can deliver it. Barrett can. I know. Okay. You guys are getting Next a good vacation here. Yeah. As long as that cost you. And we've been told also that the between rounds have been a little bit long, too. Last one was a minute and 20 seconds, so these guys are getting a lot of rest. Yeah. 
Andre Rockman after that great right hand in the last round, which knocked him out of the ropes, didn't really follow it up with much the rest of the round. To me, he looked like a guy who knew he had his buddy out there in, in front of him, and he didn't really pursue hurting him at that point. But as George was saying, he was trying to be more measured and trying not to get wild and crazy. And yeah, this is a long way for big heavyweights to go 12 rounds and keep your power. You got to get conservative at some point when you know you're not going to get a knockdown. All stars with Roxman Jail. See now right here, shouldn't Barrett be sticking? Shouldn't he be first? Be first. That was a headshot. Right. Exactly. Okay, no cut. He's first. Right. He waits to hit to, to receive a shot before he does anything. Ooh, a left hook to the body. That was a good hook by Brett Barrett. Now box. Hadn't seen much of a body attack from Monty tonight. He's been pretty much good again. Uh, yeah, he thought he thought, boy, that worked that first time. Try that again. He's trying to make Rockman drop his hands a little bit, and you know what? It may work. Drop it's those hands so I can get a good shot. Swelling over the left eye of Barrett. Is, uh, getting uh, like worse by the right. box. You're holding. You're holding rock. points to bring the crowd alive, huh? They love it. Yes, they spoken like a true puncher. Yeah. Okay, take your time. Go, go let him go. You got set off. It's taking too long to set up after you, after you get it going. Okay? Seam Rockman was strangely passive in that round, and, and Barrett was taking advantage of it a lot. And there you see with that left hook, drove uh, Rockman back. And then suddenly Rock woke up right at the end of the round. There's that left hook again that you saw from Barrett. But then uh, Rock finally woke up near the end of the round. And you're going to see the punch that stuns Barrett. The right hand again. It's been his big punch. I tell you, it's a terrific shot. It's knocked other men out. Barrett's taken Rockman's best, I think. Rockman's going to come out quickly here. Eye on Barrett's starting to look a little worse now, that left eye. Yep. Barrett seems to find success in switching to softball. I guess that right hand off ordinarily that he can't get off in a hook fashion. Now that eye is looking worse. It's cut below the eye. Good jab again by Rockman. Round nine, 12 round fight. The winner gets Vitana Klitschko. And even though this is an interim championship, neither one of these guys, of course, will take it. And we got another timeout called by Jay Nady. I'm not sure what this is about. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, roll again over here. Been a little headbutt, it was caught headbutt, by a butt. And then 
going to check cat, the cut on Hasim Rahman. And Rahman was the first and only guy that realized that. I didn't see it either. You cannot treat this cut. That's not your job. Dr. Cantrell is going to do it. Didn't see the cut. He might have seen the headbutt. Time in. That was a headbutt. There is a cut over the left eye, and it's reasonably serious cut. It's in a place where the blood would get into the eye. Is it not true? That's right. That's a different spot altogether. You don't want to get those cuts. Jane Eddy said, well, that's a, a headbutt. No. Which, of course, would mean we would go to the scorecards. Right, Barrett stop, saw now, that stop. blood and got okay. real Come anxious. Box. Short little uppercut dug in by Rockman. Sometime a little cut like they can just wake a guy up. Rockman was quicker. But that left hook, that right to the body really hurt Rockman. Yeah, it's only no, no, the last no, 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 two no, no. rounds that Barry has like showed that, any yeah, inclination at all to go no to the box. body. Throws one or two, and they're really good. You wonder why doesn't he invest in the body? Blood below and above the eye of Barrett. Now, Barrett is just letting Rockmont dictate the tempo of the fight. That's smart. Let him come in to use something. Let him bring something to fight with. But not with your left hand down to your side like that. Not That's what Barry can get something going. Not much going on here. Two are staring at each other, closing, jumping up on their toes. Passive last 30 seconds. Yeah. They got some work to do in the corner of Monte Barrett. And in the corner of Rockmont, for that matter. Nine damn minutes. You got nine minutes if you want to change your life, man. You got nine minutes if you want to change your life. Do you want to change your life, man? Okay, you got nine minutes, Monte. So I don't want one or two punches. I need two and three and four punches on balance, okay? Two and three punches on balance, okay? I want the straight punches, one, two, hook, hook downstairs. Come on, one, two, hook up, one, then hook downstairs. One, two, well, hook Jay up, Daddy one called down, cut over, and uh, finish up with the offset. I'll see eye, a headbutt. Let's see, was it? Rockmont coming in with the jab. There's a long left jab from uh, Barrett. Again, nice. There was the jab, and we think that's where the cut well, the, the heads came together right there. The heads came together after that after that punch, and that's where Rockman told Nady, "Hey, I'm bleeding. Somebody help me." Yeah. <laughs> Nady should have told him, "You know, you're in boxing, huh?" <laughs> that's what that's what they do in this business. Both corners did a pretty good job of uh, patching up their man. And these are Barrett's rounds. This is when he tries to come alive in these boxing matches. The last couple of rounds brings everything. He saves everything for the last two or three rounds. Some good work from Barrett. Yeah. Monty's getting bold. Yeah, bold. These are his rounds. Good body shot, he gets out of there. And another. But he takes a right hand for Don't Rockman. drag him, don't drag him. We're gonna fight. Stop, let him out, let him out. That's a real knot on the uh, eyelid, uh, the left eyelid of Monty Barrett, whose tape is coming loose stop, again stop, on his glove. Let him out, let him out. This referee is going to be hesitant before he stopped the action this time. Still, he see the tape, but he's let the action go. Halfway to go. He did tell the corner of Barrett to get the tape ready. 
right hand off balance from Barrett. Barrett is getting ready to fight a little bit with that. Stepped in with the right hand. Stop. Much better Thank round for Monte Barrett. Rockman is so in shape. Eyes are just as strong looking. His face is just as strong as when the fight began. Jab still, yeah, what a hard jab. So you can throw the right hand. If you throw the right hand and be like this. Okay, this is uh all right, give it to Let's yeah, go, let's get, get one off. Get this one off right. Okay. 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 Relax. Okay. 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 We need plenty of times right now. Yeah. This is an even fight here. Right there, right there. You have to win and these I, two rounds. Right you That's have a, to win these two rounds. I think it's has okay. done a pretty go. good job. Come on, it up. Lord, fuck it's up here. Rockmont's cut has not uh, bothered him since it occurred. Barrett in the softball now. Makes Rockman stop for a moment to think. That's what you want him to do is stop him for a little bit. Does that help him defend against Rockman's jab any better, you think? Yeah, sure? it, it makes Rockman have to rethink what he was going to do. You don't throw the jab instantly when the guy's in the southpaw. You start taking the right hand. And that jab of Rockman is what, is what has been bothering him. Now he goes back to Merchant. Now back to left hand. And it might also be because he's got that knot over his left eye to try to get the side of his head away from Rockman. That, help, that would help too. Been no knockdowns in this fight. And the fight has been without the explosiveness that we thought of. Yeah. It has had some moments, but there hasn't been a sustained point where somebody really went in all out. And makes me wonder, George, do you think that the friendship has, has played into that at all a little bit? Uh, no, if I hadn't seen those right hands by Rob, he threw some right hands and he tried to take this guy's shoulder off, head off his shoulder. So I think the friendship, but I hope I don't have friends like that. <laughs> Again, the crowd getting a little restless here. Barrett just not doing what he needs to do. It's easy for me to say. Seems to be trying to avoid being knocked out. Knocked out. Stop! Why was that up? I don't know if anybody's going to be happy after this fight because Rockman was convinced he was going to win by knockout and be spectacular. And uh, Monty Barrett thought definitely he was going to win, so. I'm sure the W would go Stop. right. I'm, it out. looks like Rockman is well ahead on points, I would think. Second warning. But you know, it's funny. I've seen Rockman has been in some ugly fights. 
and they've been ugly for a very different reason than this. Don't grab, don't hold, don't hold, stop. I mean, one, two. Well, take for example, the second one, fight with great. David Tua. He came in at almost 260 pounds, right. was grossly out of shape, and still controlled the whole fight with a jab, but there was a, not much going on. The Evander Holyfield fight got ugly when a second head grew out of Hasim's. Yeah. <laughs> ugly for different reasons. <laughs> They shouldn't boo Rockman. He's tried to make a fight of this one. You have to fight like you crazy, Monte. Give me red, kid. You have to fight like you crazy. Do not back up. Do not back up. Do not back up. Do not back up. And I want you to finish up with the offset. Do not back up, Monty. You hear me? And I want threes and four. Bro, you don't know where it is. Let's keep it. Let's keep it up. This is like the first round. Move okay. your shots, baby. You know what I told you to do in the first round. Move your shots. Yeah. Come up with your hands up. When you get close to him, as soon as you get in ring, don't wait to get in ring again. As soon as you get in ring, you got to snap it out. Let's go, second down. Oh, the crowd. Uh, very restless. Twelfth and final round, the two friends touch gloves, and uh, I would have to think, Rich, that Barrett's got to go get him in order to win this fight. Well, that's my feeling, too. I mean, you need something real dramatic to happen, and he's trying right here at the yeah. start. He comes out punching hard. His corner told him, do not back up. That's hard to do, because you're rocking as a deal. This is the time to let it go. If you're going to get knocked out, hey, you're behind on points, let it all. Let it all hang out. Don't try to hold anything back. And you know what? Good things can happen. Nice combination. The mouthpiece of Barrett flies out. Right. Another good left hand. J. Navy sees the mouthpiece. He picks it up, but he's going to let the fight continue. Time. So there's a real time. Well, that's not really a wall. I don't know, I don't know why he stopped it right there. Yeah, the poor in. boxers, they have it kind of in, rough in. anyway. You may as well let them be as safe as possible. They've been mixing it up pretty good in this round. Yeah. Stop! Barry should you. just let, throw the caution away. Go for it. Got to do it. You can only lose. Blood just pouring from the left eye of Rockman now. Barrett slips a right hand here. Get in the shot. That's no friend of mine. Stop! I'm here. I'm here. I mean, after one minute remaining in this fight, the winner gets Vitali Klitschko and an interim belt. Now the right 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 best right hand he's thrown tonight. Oh, Rockman is hurt. Okay. Rockman is hurt. Now Barrett doesn't seem in any hurry. His corner is just screaming at Monty Barrett. Okay, get on top of him. An uppercut. His legs are wobbling. And the fans finally in this 12th round are getting to see the fight they came Come to on. see. They're still he held time. Rockman up by leaning forward. Still enough time for Monty Barrett. Rockman's legs are gone. He bounces off the ropes, and Barrett just waited for it. Thank you. Still coming forward, though. Still yeah, throwing the jab, but he was wobbled. Now, box. Could have done it. Last 10 seconds. Could have done it. Absolutely. It's over. Well, Barry.
Garrett did let it go. He let it go. <laughs> you know what? He actually held Rockman up by leaning forward. Rockman was laying on him for relief. Monty Barrett finishes with an empty tank. There's no question about it. But Rockman on my, I have Rockman four points ahead. I think put it out for us. I think that last one put it out for us. I think that last one put it out for us. George, we're going to get a chance to see uh, Barrett's final attempt to get Rockman out of there. And I think his corner knew he had to do it. Rockman still coming forward. That left hand glanced. Rockman then, just pawed at him. That left hand was very important, though, because Rockman is kind of a little shaken on that. Boom. That's it. And that pretty good shot from Barrett. He had Rockman up against the ropes, and I, I thought right there he should have closed on him. And again, it's easy for me to say sitting right, right there here. for him. The only thing that stopped him was motivation. So got to be motivated. In <laughs> Didn't even catch him with a solid shot. It hurt him anyway. Both men by the end were very tired, and now uh, now it's back to being friends. <laughs> Well, it's in the hands of the judges. And, uh, yeah, babe, go ahead. I think Rockman yeah. did do enough, but I've seen some strange decisions. Yeah, you, you have to really wait for these decisions because judges are seeing one thing and we see another. So we will wait for Jimmy Lennon Jr., who uh, has the scorecards in his hand. And let's go up to the center of the ring. Here's Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Bill Lurch scores about 116 to 112. Judges Mauro Di Fiore and Nobuaki Uratari scored about 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner of the interim WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World, Hasim the So, Hasim Rahman is the winner. It was 116-112 on two cards, on one card, and 118-110 on the two cards. And Monte Barrett, I believe, probably uh, thought he won the fight. Let's take a look at what he looked like when the decision was announced. Thought he won the fight? No. Rich Barad in the center of the ring with the winner. Rich. All right, Rock, congratulations. You got that green belt around your waist once again as interim champ. Uh, it was a tough fight tonight. You had a guy in there jabbing. You had to move after him relentlessly. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was tougher in a different way than I expected. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say all praise due to Allah, alhamdulillah. Uh, I feel like, you know, Monty had a good game plan. He tried to move around, move around, move around, and tie, tie me out. But as I said, I was in good shape. And my jab will stop anybody, will blunt any game plan. It may not have been as pretty as y'all wanted it to be, but uh, all I did was secure a date with Vitaly Klitschko and go get this uh, green uh, heavyweight championship and bring it to the stable. I don't expect Klitschko to run and uh, move around like that, but uh, whatever whatever it takes, I can fight 12 rounds. The last round, we, went, we gave y'all a little treat, but that's what I was expecting for the first round. Did you get a little dinged in that last round? Oh, I wouldn't say I got dinged. Uh, Marty is a good, decent puncher, uh, but I'm ready for whoever and whatever and whenever. Uh, Don King put his faith in me. He put his money on the table. He, he showed me a lot of confidence, and I had to go get this green belt and bring it to the table. How I look, Don? You look good, man. Okay, right. babe. All right, champion of the world. Well, let's find out the who. Let's the interim champion of the world. Let's find out the whoever, whatever, and whenever. Uh, Don, uh, you've, Haseem Rahman has got the interim belt. What's going to happen? 
from here for from here. Hasim Rahman. He has to fight Vitaly Klitschko for the other half of the bout. He's got half of it now, so he got to get the other half by fighting Vitaly Klitschko, and that he would do. The, the fight is going to purse bid on the 17th, and after the purse bid, whoever wins it, the fight takes off in the next 120 days. Okay, so this fight is going to happen. This fight is going to happen, and I think the WBC mandated it should happen before the end of the year. So we're looking for that fight to happen within by December. All right, well, that's what's going to happen with Hasim Rahman. It's going to be a great show. And Ricardo Mayorga also got a big win tonight uh, as well. It was well. a great card, Rich. Everybody was there that came through. Ricardo Mayorga came through. Louis Colazzo, he put on a fantastic show. It was just great. Oliver McCall is back in the mix again. He knocks out a Chemek Salita. And so it's a really a fantastic show here for the United Center in Chicago. I'm very happy and proud of that and looking forward to now bringing all the heavyweight champions to one undisputed champion. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's going to be what happens. Congratulations, Asim. Monty, thanks for a great fight. Don, thanks for this show here tonight. Let's go back down to ringside with Barry and George. All right, thanks very much. And, uh, George, let me just take a minute to thank you so much. Uh, been a long time, pal. We met each really? other in 1968. I knew you when you were a little babe. <laughs> San <laughs> Francisco, I want to get there where you are, too. You're welcome back anytime. You're still wonderful. Always a pleasure. George Foreman, of course, the great champion. And uh, we started this broadcast by saying Hasim Rahman is a load for anybody. I think we could still make that statement.